My Vons and my Vonettes, we definitely back in the building. My Vons and my Vonettes, and I hope your day is going a-okay. Because me, myself, personally, so far, so good. And y'all know what I like to tell y'all. Don't pay for success. You pay attention. Because if you pay attention, then the success will come. You see what I'm saying? And with that being said today, you guys, y'all see who I got in the intro today. I got none other than 800 Little Fats and 800 Little Twin. Now, I got to give my shout out to the 800 boys. You see what I'm saying? And one thing for sure and two things for certain. I'm from the rack, and I can tell you this here, 61st and Cottage Grove, them little buildings right there, they have always held it down. I can't lie to you. It's always been like uh, um, brothers up under the fin there, like MCs and vice lords and stuff like that, because I had a few buddies that was um, they, they was double eyes, and things, and they used to um, be in the buildings over there. With, with, with 800 now. But I can say 800 for them not to be a real, real big set. Them boys always held the buildings down right there on 61st at Cottage Grove. So I got to give it to the 800 boys. They definitely um, uh, um, are the real deal. You feel what I'm saying? They are the real deal. No cap, no bap. Everybody know if you're from Chicago, boy, you know you'll get punished over there. on <laughs> Cottage Grove, boy, you'll get punished over there. But at the end of the day, I do want to say shout out to the boys because they got my little last like me though, man, my little shorty, man, my little man's little fats. They got little fats in that jab right now. You see what I'm saying? Little fats was definitely a real one, though. I got to give it to him. Free that slime. You heard me. That's just how it go. <laughs> That's just how it go. But with that being said, y'all, y'all already know we back with another operation drill and you know we be doing them operation drills every time we do an operation drill somebody seems to not be telling us the truth and it's always some untruthful things coming out about this whole situation and i used to sit back y'all and i used to think like hmm it's something strange going on but now i'm able to put all of these bodies together Thanks to Trap Lord Ross, the federal DE agent that tried to take my buddies down. And he didn't try. They really did it. But he was the one that going to sit up there and try to make my King Von, Mr. King Von, Dave Von Bennett, out of some type of alleged cereal dude. You see what I'm saying? He kept saying he's keep mentioning cereal. He must love cereal. It never really been revealed to the public who killed Tuka. Stupid. 
<laughs> it's been revealed already to the public who did that to Tuka. The same people who did that to K.I., sir. You see what I'm saying? The same people who did that to Mr. O.D. Perry. You see what I'm saying? Tuka, O.D., O-Block, Tuka V. You already know what I told you about that. Little um boy beef, what's going on? You know how many bodies is connected to that, and you know that ain't right, don't you? Well, with that being said, guess what, guys? Guess who we got in the building today with us? We got Mr. Vin Zell Richardson, and I have been yelling ever since the day this little kid was took out the box that it was foul play in that whole or deal. Now, before we get off into this Venzel Richardson things, and, um, what I want y'all to do is do this. I would like for y'all to go back and check out my last videos and things like that. Uh, my last video, I just showed everybody, put the pieces up to puzzle together, that King Von was not the hitter on the P5 hit. He was not the hitter on the Doc hit. He was not the hitter on the Little James hit. Von was not the hitter on the Tyreek hit. And also, Von was not the hitter on the Modell hit. And Von was not the hitter on the KI hit. As of right now, Von hasn't even got into the serial dude lane. You know why? Because Vaughn, as of now, the only thing that stands is Vaughn have a Modell body and he have a mistrial on the man-man body. If you think I'm playing, just tally on back to my last video before this one and you will see definitely what's going zones. You see what I'm saying? And that's the only realest I can keep it with you right now. You see about the whole situation, you feel me? Especially with the P5. See, a lot of people don't know that P5 video, that P5 video, guess what? My last video was a P5 video, but I don't got P5 on the front of it. But he's he's the main topic of that video. You see what I'm saying? About time to end, when I get the P5, that's when I get to going in, getting super duper surgical. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like this. It was alleged that Vaughn became a suspect on the P5 body. You know why Vaughn was a suspect on the P5 body? Because three minutes before P5 was took down, Vaughn sent the tweet off. And the tweet happened to say, L-A-M-O. You know, he was laughing his what off. You see what I'm saying? But the strange part about that is right then, Vaughn sent another tweet three minutes later. And that tweet said, my 45th make you do 40 flips. But at the same time, Vaughn was making that 45th, 40 flips tweet. Guess what? This is the exact same time when Mr. P5 was getting took down. You see what I'm saying? And now how can Vaughn be making a tweet that his 45 make you do 40 flips at the exact same time this man is getting took down? It was because it was just like I said. Vaughn got a call from J Money. J Money said, I see uh, um, Jay Money said, I got crack right here lacking. I'm finna take him down. And Vaughn texts laughing my A off because Vaughn knew Mr. P. Crack was finna get took down. You see what I'm saying? By Mr. J. Mana. And at the time this is going on, Vaughn is hearing the shots because if you sitting on old block, you're gonna be able to hear the shots from right over here where Mr. P5 is at. You see what I'm saying? So Vaughn heard the shots as he was going down, and this is why Vaughn texting and laughing my A off because Vaughn knew that Mr. J Money was finna take P5 down. And that's why as P5 was getting took down and Vaughn was hearing the shots, Vaughn texted. Uh, my 45 will make you do 40 flips. The only reason why Vaughn did that because he know that his buddy, Mr. J. Munner, just took this man down. And Vaughn know that everybody know that Mr. J. Munner deals with crack girl. They both dealing with the same girl. So Vaughn was just trying to keep the heat off Mr. J. Munner. You see what I'm saying? This is all Vaughn was doing. And guess what? Vaughn was doing that in a lot of his tweets. So you see what I'm saying? Mr. It never Never been revealed to the public. It's never really been revealed to the public who killed Tuka, but it have. All you gotta do is go back a couple videos back and you'll see took Mr. Tuka, aka Sean Dale Gregory, out the B O X. You see. So now you guys, enough of that. Let's see what's going on with the Vin Zell Richardson case. 
Okay, let's get into it. As y'all can see, you got to give me my props, you guys. I am laying up here working 20 bodies at one time. You see what I'm saying? They, they put this cereal stuff on Vaughn. I have to work 20 bodies at one time. People call me today, tell me, we need you to work this case out here in Michigan. I told them I can't even get out there because they done threw so many bodies on Vaughn. I am, I'm sleepless working these bodies. I haven't had no sleep or nothing. This is one of the biggest cases I have dealt with because usually I'm dealing with um, two bodies and three bodies because, you know, they don't never do one. They do the threes and fours. So, you know, usually I'm dealing with threes and fours and stuff like that. But this body is particular because they started Vaughn off with 10 or 12 in the dough. You see what I'm so we're just going through the process of elimination. Listen here, y'all. Now, this is the real deal, you guys. This is probably about the fourth time I done did one of these Venzel videos. If you want to go check it out, it's one on my it's one on my channel right now. That's way down there. I did some months and months ago. Um, it's one of some of my first video. The one I did with Denzel on, I mean Venzel on this is the fourth video I done did on Venzel. Y'all have been screaming this. The whole time since Venzel lost his life. Listen, y'all, this is Mr. Curly's work. This is Mr. Curly's work, Venzel Richardson. Listen, all the time, everybody already know that uh, that um, Chicago World News came out and it was a police officer that let Chicago World News them know that D. Rose did not do that to Venzel Richardson. And Chicago World News and that police let everybody know that it was allegedly Carlo Lil Los from Front Street, right? Lil Los from Front Street. Now check out this scenario, y'all. Venzel get took down. A van slides up. Door come open. Boom. Take Venzel down while he's walking with TB and a couple more of his guys, right? Take Venzel down, right? Now check this out. Now, you see they said it was a van that slid open and they took um, Venzel down. Now, you have a witness that allegedly said it was D. Rose that did it, right? And then they turn around and say that, um, that um, who else they said? Some 600 members was allegedly in the car. Lil Boo and all. This is what they're saying. You see, this is what they're putting on the street. But it's not true. Now, listen to what I'm telling y'all, y'all, because it's all going to go together. Now, everybody know that that police officer dude said D. Rose didn't do it, and he said they suspect in that case was Little Los from Front Street that's already locked up for the body on the twin. And then when they was up under the viaduct and they took the coat from Shorty now. Now, if anybody don't know, for all you people don't know, I showed y'all who was the first target. The first target was Tuka, and then it went to Odie. This was the third Biggest target right here was Venzel Richardson. You know why? And they knew why they did Venzel because they knew what it was going to do. You got to understand. The old block took a beef was simmering down a little bit because a lot of people had already got drilled out. You see what I'm saying? And guess what? The Venzel hit is what pumped it back up. You got to understand. The Venzel hit is what put TB, Poppy, and all of them in the equation. This is how TB, Poppy, and every last one of them got in the equation. I'm telling you, this Vince, TB, no one's like these boys. Vince, there was 14 at the time. Listen, y'all, these boys right here, this is when Taekwon World turned up. See, the, Mr. Curly the, took Vinzel out too, y'all. This is what kicked the war back off more and turned it up because, listen, you got to understand, once the FBG in the um in the old block water, watered down a little bit because a lot of people lost their life. It got the you know mellowing out because people had got deals and they moving around those. Taekwon was the one holding it down. And then guess what? Taekwon was the one who did that to uh to T Roy and that you see what I'm saying? That pumped it up even more. That pumped it up even more. See um Vinzel Richardson. Was a was a real score. Was a real score about on people because it kicked off a lot of stuff. Now check this out, right? Now look, I always say this here. For some reason, I say this here. I don't care what they saying. For some strange odd reason, y'all, I always said this here that them people did the little mark body. I said they did the little mark body. The reason why I say they did the little mark body is because guess what? 
I don't care about that video that they got D Rose and Vaughn them. They hit Vaughn in the background. They got D Rose and them out there saying that um like, hey, man down, man down. Because guess what? You understand? Vaughn them was tweeting already. Vaughn them was already saying they was in traffic, and this is why I say that, right? This is why I believe um, D Rose, Vaughn, and whoever else was in that car, they just rolled up on the scene, and this is why I say that. For one, they say. It was a van that slid up. Somebody jumped out, took Lamar down, right? Allegedly, check this out. Allegedly, y'all, this is the same van that they used to take Venzel down. This is what they're saying, right? So if that's the same van they used to take Venzel down, Venzel got killed first in February. Then Lamar get took down. Why would they still be riding around in the same van even though they can go hide it and put it up or whatever and go do it. But why would they do that? And why didn't just keep it after they did the little market after the little market, the van eventually gets, um, eventually gets burnt up at six 30. Now six, six 30 or something that night. This is when the van get burnt up sometime that night. It got burnt up, but guess what? When D Rose and Rondo, I mean with D Rose and, um, Vaughn that was on the scene, this was just when it happened. This was just when it happened. Little Mark was on the ground. That's why D Rose is yelling like, man down. You gotta understand. This was this was minutes after Mark got popped. So allegedly Vaughn them must have went. Allegedly they said Vaughn them went um and, and D Rose them wouldn't hear the van, jumped in another car and came back to the scene and burnt the van up later. But if y'all don't know, this is supposed to be the same van that was used in the Venzel body. Now guess what? The article saying in Venzel body that it was a silver van, and then articles say it was a white van in the um in the um in the article. You see what I'm saying? And um and this the same color that they said in the little mark lick, right? Now look, you have police that said D Rose was not the shooter in the Venzel case, right? And guess what? Remember, I kept saying. Dang, he got a cop up here saying that D Rose is not the shooter in that case. Well, why they don't let D Rose out? Well, it's a cop right here saying it. So why they can't get D Rose out? Why won't this cop go up there and let the judge and them know it's an innocent person locked up for this? Because if they go up there and let them people know that D Rose is an innocent person locked up for this body, right? Then the people are gonna want to know who really did the body. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm telling y'all who did the body. And this is why it's real iffy. Why I say it's real iffy with the little Mark case. You see what I'm saying? See, like I just showed you about the P5, about the P5 body. Like I just showed you about the P5 body. Don't let these tweets and stuff confuse you. And Vaughn, the minute they said that, that the, the, the minute when I was looking at the little Mark thing, the minute I heard that the shooters was in the van, when I first ever looked at it a long time ago, the minute I heard that the shooters pulled up and they was in the van and all that, and then I started seeing that video where they talking about D Rose and Vaughn was on the set. The first thing I did was look at the inside of that car and make sure it wasn't a van and it wasn't a van. And the second thing I thought about is, okay, D Rose is laying out here on the ground now. You see what I'm saying? He just got hit. This is minutes after he got hit. Now, allegedly, D Rose's number is back on the scene in the car now. You feel what I'm saying? And this is why everything got to be like really, really, really fact-checked in this whole situation with that. Because guess what? And this is why I say that. Remember I just told y'all that the police came up there and said that D. Rose didn't do it and that Lil Los from Front Street did it, right? But watch this. Let me show you exactly how they was putting Vaughn in the paint. And what I'm telling you about, they're running around throwing these bodies on people because they're trying to clean their self up. It's a cleanup time with the help of bloggers. You see what I'm saying? With the help of these federal informant paid bloggers. Now watch this. Now watch this fed dude, y'all. Y'all remember I've been telling y'all that I've been yelling um, free D Rose. Everybody know I did 50 million videos free D Rose. Y'all think I'll be playing? I was on the D Rose case, right? And I already let everybody know that's what my videos is about. The D Rose case and the Venzel case go together. The, 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 them boys, Mr. Curly and a federal YouTube informants set 
Mr. D rose up for that Venzel body, just like I'm showing you they said Vaughn up, just like I'm showing you they did that the Tuca, and just like I'm showing you all of that. And let me show you how they was prepping to make Vaughn out of this so-called alleged serial killer. This rat right here, or that thing. Folks have already got him in. He's he gonna get his nose wiped. Watch out. Watch what I tell y'all, folks. This dude gonna get his nose wiped. Watch what I tell you. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, Vaughn did it. You know what I'm talking about? Why is he in jail for some shit that Vaughn did? They know all this other shit that he did on the paperwork. Why they don't know nothing he did, rat. Anything they know is because you telling them you rat. You see what I'm saying? You see how these tubers sit up here and play with y'all like this and make it seem like they're official and all that, and they putting the guys in the paint and everything. That's why, like, like that boy just don't even know, man. He chilling his, his, his bubble stick and all that. Boy, you just don't know, man. You just don't know. You just don't know, boy. Watch what I tell y'all. He just don't know, y'all. Watch what I tell you. Did on the paperwork. Why is D Rose still in jail for some shit that Vaughn did? You know what I'm talking about? I ain't no game number no more. I'm a citizen. Man, I'm so tired of everybody using this citizen word. If you a citizen, then go talk about citizens. You up here talking about murders. You talking about bodies. You putting everybody business out there. You a paid informant for the federal government, and you talking about you a citizen. You ain't no citizen, dog. You a rat. You a rat. You a rat. You a rat. And this video that he made, that was 10 months ago, talking about Vaughn is the uh, Vaughn did the bodies. Like, who confirmed you to know everything? You was over there with FBG and them. You, you, you tricking on O Block. You tried to trick on Cairo. You tried to trick on everybody. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. When this pack come, y'all, it's going to be beautiful. Because the pack coming, though. Trust me, the pack is coming. Watch what I tell you. Y'all going to be like, boy, that boy said it. The pack coming. Watch what I tell you. Gang. On that thing. D Rose is innocent, man. Finna start this free D Rose campaign. You ain't finna start nothing. How you gonna start a free D Rose campaign and you locking people up? You see what I'm saying? You confused in the head, you rat. He y'all listen, he's about starting a free D Rose campaign, but just got the whole uh, O Block Six locked up. Man, get it. <laughs> Man, get this rat up at my channel, man. We'll talk about this rat, man. Y'all know when, when, when it's pack time, man. Gang, I'm out of here, man. Shout out to my Vons, my Vonettes. We are the best. Y'all definitely know the rest. And with that being said, y'all know I will be back. Same bad time, same bad channel. Oh, stay away from them rat channels. You see what I'm saying? Stay away from the rat channels. You feel me? And I'm out, man. You know, we only keep talking about rats too long, man. I'm out, man.